right, we're back with Alki, who has had the disc surgery. So she's had a discectomy. She's doing really well. And now we're at the stage where we're getting her working on her core and working on all the muscles around the core to try and give her a lot more stability and a lot more stiffness through the spine so she stops moving that spine too much. And one of them is a side plank or a side bridge, if you like. Um, with this exercise, what we want to do is make sure that she is not bending her spine as she comes up, okay? So she's got to maintain, specifically because she's had disc surgery and anyone with a disc bulge, this is really important, that they maintain neutral spine and not flex and bend the spine to try and teach that spine. When it goes under load, it needs to stay stable and so we use all the muscles around it to do that. So with a side plank or a side bridge, what she's going to do is start off in like, what, like the clam position. Um, and this position is quite good because it keeps her flexed at the knees and hips. And we're going to teach her what to do with her upper body. So what she's not allowed to do is if you come up onto your elbow for me, okay, yep. See that bent position? So she's in her spine like this. We don't want that position, okay? So we don't want her starting there. So traditionally people would lift up, try and lift up from there, would lift up so they go from bent to straight. We don't want to teach her that. We want to teach her brain to stay stable. So when she starts, she needs to come back, come back with your hips a little bit, and see how she's on a curve. So now to set her up, she then has to tilt her pelvis there, and so she starts in neutral. Now to get her into a plank, all she's going to do is go into from a, like a squat and coming upwards. So she's got to dig her knees a little bit together, her heels a little bit together, and then this arm goes onto her around a deltoid and pulls down because we need her lats working because her lats come in to her thoracolumbar fascia and cross over to her glutes. And so when she lifts with her QL, which is this muscle under here, that, that sort of side tense strut for her spine, she's going to lift that to lift up. She's also going to use her obliques. We need the, the lats working. So this is why we grab onto here. And so she's going to pull down that way. And she's also going to pull down with the elbow. Just bring your elbow in a little bit. This elbow needs to be sort of directly under the shoulder. She's going to pull down as though this elbow is going towards her hip. So again, she uses both lats. You feel that working there. Mm -hmm. So she sets herself up. Make sure, I mean, you can look from the, from the back. Is she neutral? There's neutral there. So teach her that you can't be there. She's got to be here. And then she's going to lift by pushing through her right arm okay and using her right side here before she lifts she's got to set that core she's got to stiffen so she's got to gently tighten here until it's nice rock hard that we've been teaching her and then she's got to load through there and she's not going to lift up she's going to thrust forward so she's going to come up and forward to there and there's the side plank and she might be able to hold that for say five seconds or so and then she sits back down into the squat. So at no time is she actually bending or curving the spine. She's teaching herself, okay, maintain neutral and then squat upwards. So come forward and there's your side plank. So she's got her obliques and her QL working hard on this side. She's pulling down here. She's using her lats. She's using her lats on her right hand side. She's trying to, she's squeezed her glutes because she's come up into a squat. So she's used her glutes to come up and then she sits back down again to relieve it, okay? Now, this is all about teaching the correct patterns and then you'll gain some strength from doing the repetitions. But her core at the moment and for long term is a lot about endurance. So she needs to be able to do how long can you hold that plank for, that side plank, okay? So she gets endurance out of her QL muscles and this is in preparation for being able to carry things and walk long distances, That's those muscles are working a long time for her. So yes, we're loading the spine, but we've got no weight on her, um, but we're more about endurance at this stage. So if you try that again, okay, so pull down here, pull on your shoulder, all right, and coming forward and making sure that's tight there, that's it. And then we go, okay, can you go 10 seconds? Can you go 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute? Okay, as she gets stronger over the next few weeks, can she last longer in the side plank? And of course, then she does the other side. Okay.